Hey, ChatGPT. I've been doing videos and I've been explaining to people that a promissory note cannot contain conditions, comma, it cannot contain an endorsement or negotiabilities and or negotiable assignments and or transferabilities Sometimes you tell me, yes, it can, and then I have to explain to you, Article 9 covers promissory notes, which are simple contracts. Article 3 of the Uniform Commercial Code covers negotiable instruments, period. Negotiable instruments can be transferred, comma, they can be assigned, comma, they can be endorsed, comma, promissory notes are under Article 9. Comma, promissory notes cannot be assigned, comma, they cannot be transferred, comma, and they cannot be endorsed, because that would make them Article 3, negotiable instruments, period. Article 9 and Article 3 are not synonymous. They're for two separate purposes. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen. There's a young man on TikTok, and he doesn't speak. He just puts videos up, and he talks about things like this. But, again, I've been saying it. He did a video. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To another party. Okay, stop right there. Now, can a negotiable instrument be transferred? A negotiable instrument can be transferred. Okay? A negotiable instrument can be transferred, but not a promissory note. See, once you have those particularities in a promissory note, it's no longer a simple contract. So it's no longer a promise to pay. A promise to pay is a simple contract. Yeah, I just, I, I just promised to pay him, Your Honor. I didn't promise to pay him and then them and then them and then them. And, and I, never, I never promised to pay him and then let him give it to them and then pay him through them. No, I never did that. Oh, I did? I, I put that in the contract and I signed and said I was agreeing to that? Oh, you're talking about the negotiation. Oh, no, that's a negotiable instrument. That's not a contract anymore, Your Honor. Yeah, it's a negotiable instrument. I gave him permission to go ahead and cash that mother. That's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are not understanding the <clears throat> transaction. You were transacting business. You were not creating a promise to pay. Now, he said there might be some confusion. Wake up. Wake up. You are obviously smoking crack. Comma, how dare you suggest that under Article 9, comma, there is a provision for negotiation. Comma, so which section of Article 9 of the Uniform Commercial Code, which has been adopted by every state, comma, covers negotiable instruments? Comma, and give me a quote of the section. Question mark. Stop listening. Wake up. I did not ask you to clarify. Did I ask you to tell me what a promissory note is? Comma, I asked you a specific question. 
and you will respond with specificities. Comma, you will give no more clarifications. Comma, you will give no more nuances. Comma, I don't give a... about your opinion. Stop listening. <sighs> Let's see what he has to say now. Understood. Here is the specific response. Article 9 of the UCC does not cover the negotiability of instruments in the same way as Article 3. Article 9 primarily deals with secured transactions, including security interests in promissory notes. It does not define or provide for negotiable instruments as Article 3 does. Mm -hmm. There is no specific section in Article 9 that addresses negotiable instruments in the manner that Article 3 does. Article 9 focuses on the security interests and does not provide provisions for the negotiability of promissory notes. So, wake up. If there are exceptions or negotiable terms in a promissory note and it is signed giving authority for transferability and or assignment comma it is a negotiable instrument under article 3 because it is no longer a simple contract exclamation mark Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, your promissory note stopped being a promissory note when you allowed for transferability, when you allowed for an assignment. When you go to court, just ask, has the note been assigned? Has it been transferred at any point since I signed it? Oh, well, Your Honor, I asked for an immediate dismissal. Well, 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 what's your reason for asking for a dismissal? Oh, because you don't have jurisdiction. Well, this court does have jurisdiction. I didn't say for you to tell me what you have jurisdiction over. I said you don't have jurisdiction over this matter, nor over me, nor over the subject. Okay? Let subject matter in realm or property matter and personum or personal matters. You ain't got none of that. This ain't no promissory note. This is a negotiable instrument. You can't foreclose a negotiable instrument. So from where are you getting your authority? It ain't under Article 9 of UCC because that don't give you no authority. It ain't under Article 3 of the UCC because that don't give you the authority. It ain't under the Foreclosure Act because you can't foreclose on a negotiable instrument. A draft. These are elements of a draft. I don't have to prove it to you. I need you to prove it to me. That's what I'm saying. Use honor. Stop listening. Sorry. I was, <laughs> I'm watching a rodent on my property, and that was my distraction. I apologize. I, I, they had that fire, and they all came over here. they like, oh, look at that. We got all kind of places to camp out and hide. We got dirt that we can go up in and ground and mold under and everything. And so I'm about to... $150 worth of food. I'm about to feed these mother... Okay, they're going to eat hearty and they're going to be... <sighs> and they're going to go to sleep for a long time. They go to sleep long time. Okay? I'm not joking. I'm about to... This whole area, I've had enough. <laughs> I apologize. <sighs> So let's see how correct I am. You guys mind? Let's see if I know. Because I wasn't looking at the screen. I don't even know what this yes, fool wrote. that's correct. I know I'm correct. If a promissory note includes terms that allow for transferability <laughs> or assignment, and it contains the necessary elements of a negotiable instrument as defined under Article 3 of the UCC, it would be classified as a negotiable instrument. You can't foreclose this on a negotiable instrument. This classification distinguishes it from a simple contract as negotiable instruments under Article 3 are specifically designed to be transferable and enforceable in a way that facilitates commerce. That's right! Under Article 3, a negotiable instrument typically must 1. Be in writing and signed by the maker or drawer. 
Two, contain an unconditional promise or order to pay a specific amount of money. Three, be payable on demand or at a definite time. Four, be payable to order or to bearer. In contrast, promissory notes covered under Article 9, which deals with secured transactions, are not primarily defined by their negotiability, but rather by the security interests that may be associated with them. See, once it has negotiabilities associated with it, transferability, or an assignment, it can be assigned to whomever we want it to be assigned to. You gave us permission. That's called a negotiation. You negotiated those terms and then you signed it. Well, because you signed it and you did not specify whom you were assigning it to, pay attention. I want you to understand because this is important. That's called a blank endorsement. You didn't have to put pay to the order. What you did was you signed it. They put pay to the order. They add the rest of the endorsement because your endorsement was in blank. B-L-A-N-K. Look up blank endorsement. You gave them the ability of assigning it. Yours was payable to the bearer. Whoever held the instrument, you gave them permission to add the rest of the language. You can say, take this video and play it in the courtroom. And then demand the judge prove that they have jurisdiction, that it is still considered a promissory note. And if they say it is, say, look here, Mr. Intelligence. Prove it. Just because you say those words out of your mouth in ignorance doesn't prove a dang thing. I said no. I'm challenging your presumption. First, presumptions aren't law. Second, presumptions have never been law, have never been enacted by any county, any city, any district, any so-called legislature of any level of government. And if it has, it wasn't, in this instance, ever considered law. Presumptions are not law. The fact that a court has a presumption that a presumption is law is <coughs> a presumption. It's still not law. And courts can only deal with facts and conclusions of law. Maxims. The law requires due process. Presumptions deny due process. Presumptions put the weight on the opposing party and not on the complaining party. They complaining and they ain't proving nothing. You put all of the burden on me. I don't want the burden. So I'm shifting that burden, hot potato, back on you, mother, I mean, excuse me, your honor. By all means, you don't have to go into court to say anything. Just offer this video as evidence. They'll call you crazy or anything, say, but no. I don't want you to focus on him. I want you to focus on what he said. If anything he said is wrong, then prove it on the record because I'm putting that as evidence on the record because everything he said is official knowledge. Everybody's supposed to know this. These are facts and you haven't provided any facts. They've not provided any facts. So let me use this as facts. I'm going to use him as a witness. You want to cross-examine him? We can call him right now. He puts his number underneath his videos. We can call him right now for this hearing. He don't even have to have prep. He ready for y'all. Now, this is so that you know, people. Stop letting them play the word game with you. Don't play the word game back with them. Just ask the right questions. Study the information that was just discussed. Understand that a promissory note, once it contains all that other language, and if your promissory note is 15 pages long, it's no longer a simple contract. If your promissory note says they get the foreclosure in your property, if you don't pay, it's no longer a simple contract. Why? Because Day Day, y'all remember Day Day? Day Day get the right to transfer, get the right to assign. That's what all them 15 pages is. That's taking it away from being a simple contract. It's no longer a simple contract with security interests. That's why they have you show up at closing so that they can make it a complex agreement. They had all those other papers. It's no longer a simple contract, ladies and gentlemen. And because you give authority for transferability and negotiability and you 
sign it and agree to it, that's called a blank endorsement. You've just negotiated those terms of the agreement. See, it's not a simple agreement where you just agree to pay. It's now negotiated. You agree under certain conditions and terms that you're going to pay. That's negotiable. It's a negotiable instrument. Ta-da! I know, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. It is not a promissory note anymore, so stop calling it a promissory note. Start calling it what it is, a negotiable instrument, a draft. You don't have to prove that it is. They have to prove that it ain't. Y'all brought this junk up in here. Y'all need to prove to me that this ain't under Article 3, the definition of negotiable instrument. Because you can't foreclose on an Article 3 instrument. Oh, no, you can try, but I got the right to a trial by jury. So we're going to be here for years. Y'all want to go that route? Because I'm going to drag this out and tell, man, there's blood on the dance floor. That's how long I'm going to drag this out. My feet going to be so scraped up from dragging. Whew, y'all going to be acting like this is a Z movie. Anime. Yeah, I'm going to be Dragon Ball Z, and I'm about to teach you how to train your dragon. That's right, mother... Okay? That's the game you play with them. Let them know. If they want to play, you will play. We will drag this out until eternity. The same way y'all do me if I tried to sue them, they'd drag it out for years and I wouldn't get nothing until it froze over. Well, y'all ain't getting nothing out of me until it freezes over because I'm challenging y'all bulls. This is a negotiable instrument. This ain't no promissory note. Promissory notes cannot be negotiable instruments. Wait, hold on. A negotiable instrument can contain a promise to pay. Hold on. Contain an unconditional promise or order to pay. It can contain a promise to pay. It's not a promissory note, but it can contain a promise to pay. It's still a negotiable instrument under Article 3. It says it right there. Go ahead and read DNF. Of section number 104. Article 3, section 104. Go ahead and read subsections D, uh, excuse me, DNF, D and E. D and E, is that like a B and E? No. Ain't no bacon and eggs around here. Oh, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this information does you some good. It is 423 in the AM, been up since 3 o'clock. This is what I do. My mind be on something and it gets stuck and it ain't going to let it go. That's why y'all got several videos talking about this. But you already said this stuff to us. That's right. And I'm saying it mo again because some of y'all are starting to get it. Okay? It is so tiring telling people the same stuff over and over again. For years I've been saying this stuff and nobody paying attention. But other people are starting to get it and they're starting to do videos. Whew, I am so grateful because it ain't just me no more. I was by myself all alone. And I didn't know where I was going to turn. And now I can turn around and I can click on links and videos. And other people are talking the same thing. Now, 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 hold on. Some of them, like this video group that he got on his channel, he's showing y'all the stuff like I've been advocating. Stop listening to those people who ain't showing y'all jack. They ain't showing y'all no nothing. Y'all got to sit up there and just listen to them tell y'all what is what it is. Okay? Aretha ain't here no more. She ain't going to tell y'all what it is. Okay? Y'all, they ain't going to tell y'all what it is. They trying to imitate Aretha. All right? You need to go to the ones who telling y'all what it is. Then you need to go and read it for yourself to make sure that's what it is. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. And I'm going to explain it the way it is. Then you got to make up your own mind. Because I love candy. All right. Got to go. Have a good day, y'all. Eyes gone.